So it's 17 to three. And you're in this, you've decided to go under center play action pass. Now Musgrave is in that split flow position. So maybe we can, we could demonstrate that we think this is the split flow play, split flow play. Say that again, split flow play. But we haven't done anything to establish the run. We're down here. And so maybe, you know, I'm sure Matt's thinking like, oh, or Coach LaFleur is thinking like, oh, well, you know, we'll show him the under center. Now, the problem is the dig route by Watson, they're just reading your mail. They're sitting on it from the back. We just talked about the backside safety comes down and gets the crosser. Well, Ancelotti obviously makes the play here, but Watson's going to get murdered one way or the other. And this is what happens when the quarterback gets heated up, right? Everything's happening a little bit too fast. And the reason you run under center play action pass is you want to give your receivers time to make the, get those deeper routes. So now you're running a short dig route that they, they just jump immediately. Instead of getting to your second read, which is open, top of the screen, you throw it into traffic, they pick the ball off. Problems. Talked about the gaps already. So 47 and 7 have to account for the B and the C gap. 47 is in the C gap. You got 25 outside overhang. Darnell Savage can fill it. 20, 26 can fill it from the back end. But someone's got that B gap. You got the defensive tackle and the A gap. Quay goes outside. You see McDuffie fills backside A, where he's supposed to. Quay goes outside. It's a walk-in. It's a walk-in touchdown. And again, that's not how they drew it up on paper. I promise you. You could sit here and tell me that Hollins is supposed to rip underneath. You could tell me that Hollins is supposed to rip underneath. But... That is the easiest block that you're ever going to see on the goal line. Is a slip that's a slip, a guard tackle play side block where you get to double a relatively light defensive end in for number 47 Hollins up to Quay, and Quay's just going to pop outside. This couldn't be easier. Not involved at all. And that's a problem. Yeah, he leads the team in tackles, but there's just some things like, and again, I don't know if it's him. I don't know if that's what he's being taught. I, you don't know. But that doesn't make any, any sense. Now, a lot of people looked at this play. We're talking about the read option that they decided to pull out here, trying to get a first down. Okay, on second and five. And well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is Romeo Dobbs misses Brian Branch, doesn't block him. So instead of reading the pitch guy, they should have an extra man here. Love's got to pitch the ball now because he's about to get smoked by Brian, rookie Brian Branch because we missed the we missed the crack block. If you don't miss the crack block, you're good to go here. You're three on two. The Guara, it's just happening too fast. You see what I mean? It's just happening too fast. They're just they're just playing at a different tempo. But you miss the crack block, the play's never going to work. Exact same scheme as they just showed on the goal line. So now Quay tries to get in there. He still gets walled off. All right, so they do the double team on the three technique up to Quay. Quay's like, I don't want it, any of that this time, except the problem is he's not playing into the gap. He's playing into the man. So all Decker has to do is keep his shoulders turned. He runs right into him. He's gone. He's away from the play. Now Rashawn Gary's got to figure out as he's pressing out the tight end, where's this guy going to go? And because of the speed... Once he decides to go outside, Rashawn gives up the edge a little bit. He ends up making the play here, but it's again five yards down the line, down off the line of scrimmage. Bad ball. Reading mail again. Under center play action, 24 to three. Are you running under center play action with 24 to three? You got Luke Musgrave over here blocking the, the right defensive end. Even if Zach Tom doesn't get beat bad here, which you know, as an offensive lineman, it's your responsibility to block the guy no matter what. He doesn't take a good set here. Hutchinson beats him badly. But, man, this is a tough one. They're like, hey, we're going to do an under center play action, and you're on your own against their best player, 
and it's going to take a while and we're down to, you know, it, it's part of the job. Don't get me wrong, but it's almost like you'd rather have just call it a drop back because you're not fooling anybody right now. But you look at 95 has got Luke Musgrave beat. He's going to, if, if Hutchinson doesn't get the sack, Musgrave or 95 is getting the sack. It just is what it is. Because you're down on you're down on the goal line and you're asking your rookie tight end to to block a guy a a Quara that's been in the league for years. That's just that's a tough ask, man. It's a tough. This isn't that Georgia rookie. Okay, so they finally get a first down, and you can just look. Dan's pissed. You can just tell he's just no, mm -hmm, not happy about it. Okay, they get a first down on penalty. We get they get a uh, encroachment. And now we start talking about Aline McNeil, who was one of the guys we need to look at uh, when we talked about our, our preview. And what happens here? This, you know, sometimes Herb Street's on the on the call here, and Herb Street does a good job and everything. But I don't know how much he knows about offensive line play. And you're watching this immediately, and you're trying to make snap deals. But this was a back block by Josh Myers gone wrong, and the reason that it goes wrong is because the tight the tackle Zach Tom has to come down and put his body in the B gap to stop penetration. Because although I think Myers probably takes bad footwork here, it's very difficult for him to get back there and stop penetration on a penetrating defensive tackle if that right tackle doesn't come out and take, a, take away the B gap. So Zach just kind of steps and half hearts it, misses him with his hand, McNeil's in the background. Everybody thinks that Tucker Craft's trying to hit this guy. He's not. He's trying to get out of his way. He's actually trying to be the lead blocker is what actually is supposed to happen. He's supposed to block, I think, lead up on Ancelotti. This turns into a tackle for loss. When it rains, it pours, man. Things are going bad, okay? And now he's going to get a sack on this play. You think about your snap to release, though, from Jordan Love, and, and this is one of the problems. Foot's in the ground. He wants to throw, but where are you going to throw? Nobody's open. You can throw, what, one, two, three, quick, and as quick as you can, hit the swing route? I mean, they're just sitting on these routes. Because they really believe that they're going to get there with four in these games that they're running are working. And so they run a T on the side with Hutchinson and, and McNeil. And he ends up making getting a sack. He just he just made all pro in two plays. Crazy. Good player, though. Good player. But you know, it's it's tough, it's a tough sport, guys. You got a third and one look. Okay. Quay, Quay decides to shoot the gap, and this is just the rule of linebacking. If you shoot that gap, in other words, if you come underneath into the big gap to make this play, you better make the play, man. Like, you got to make this play because they have a lead blocker that's literally going, well, who should I block now? Because Quay went backside, but he runs into the tackle. Now this guy's out the gate. Third and one play. He picks up six. Tough. One thing you can bet on is Rashawn Gary's coming to play all day. I don't care what, what the score is. Kid's out there to play, man. That, uh, that young man's out there to play. He's a, an impressive human. Just about this life. Look at him. He's got that guy all kinds of beat up. I'm not picking on Quay Walker here. When you play middle linebacker, you're involved in a ton of plays. Quay... Quay's faking like he's going to blitz, I think, early in this. He's 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 uh, up at the line of scrimmage. So kind of an unfamiliar position. So now he is, he's got flat. So he turns his shoulder pads instead of shuffling out. Why is that important? Because when you turn your shoulder, shuffle pad, or shoulder pads, you can't redirect the quick slant. So all they do here, hit the slant on St. Brown. Darnell Savage is going to come from across the field and try to take his head off. Nope. First down. It's tough. Like these little, it's like details matter more than you guys think, right? Or more than we all think. We all talk about, oh, I'm running this system versus this system. I got this athlete. He runs a 4-6. He benches 225, 30 times. Technique, assignments, and details. How you go about your business matters so much in this game. Now we talk about it's good if if Joe Barry 
wants to play this kind of defense where we're just going to let the defensive line win one-on-ones, take these matchups. Your linebackers, and again, we've showed it, Atlanta, New Orleans, the Lions tape, your linebackers have to hit the hole and have to cause a, you know, a, a pileup. If you're going to sit back here and just take this block, you see seven, you know, arms at his side, not ready to strike, not attacking this. I think this is going to be a tight end, taking it on the chest. That's a tough, it's just a, it's a very, very tough way for a defense to play because you can fall off and make tackles eight yards after the line of scrimmage all day. So you get a tackle there, eight yards down. So it's it's like it's one thing to you have to be able to account for that as the defensive coordinator or linebackers coach. Like somebody's got to come in and say, if we're not going to try to create a pile at the line, if we're not going to cover up the gaps on on or behind the line of scrimmage, then we got to play some kind of different defense because we're just being this is a catcher's mitt defense right now. You're catching everything at the second level. It's too tough. Sports too tough.